Number 8. This is 1924 S. Lincoln sent in red and brown condition. Graded as MS-64 by NGC. According to NGC, the widely hoarded from circulation 1935-60, as were all S. Mint cents, this issue is very scarce and all grades higher than very fine. Mint states survive in smaller numbers than for many other issues of the 1920s, and fully red gems are exceedingly rare. This elusive example ended up selling for $1,140 on October 17, 2023. Number 7. This is 1952 S. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Silver 25-cent piece with vivid amber, olive green and russet toning. According to NGC, the 1952 S. Quarter dollar is very common in gem mint state, with a large certified population of MS-67 coins and even a few finer. Overlooked, however, is that most of these top-notch pieces were coined from heavily worn dyes that give them a soft and blurry look. This tends to reduce the impact of any contact marks, which are so easily seen on the better-struck P and D quarters. Finding a well-struck 1952S coin from fresh, fully detailed dyes will be very difficult. This MS-68 superb gem fetched a sum of $1,200 in an auction held on October 17, 2023. Number 6. Here is 1946S Liberty Half Dollar in superb mint condition. Graded as MS-67 by PCGS. The end of World War II in 1945 led to greatly reduced manufacturing, layoffs and other signs of post-war recession. Mintages declined, reflecting this reduced activity, and the San Francisco Mint would not coin half dollars for circulation again until 1949. Hoarding of San Francisco Mint coins was well established by 1946, so examples in Mint State are quite common. Most, however, are rather poorly struck, and finding a sharp piece from fresh dyes can be very challenging. Gems certified through MS-66 are readily available, while MS-67 examples are rare. This specimen was sold for $1,320 on October 17, 2023. Number 5. Here is 1936 Gettysburg Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Vitter's obverse design portrays conjoined busts of Union and Confederate veterans in uniform facing right. Above are the mottos Liberty and E Pluribus Unum. Arranged in arcs around the periphery are the legends United States of America and Blue and Gray Reunion, separated by stars. The reverse is dominated by Union and Confederate shields, separated from one another by fasces. Wrapped around these elements are branches of oak and olive, perhaps symbolizing war and peace. This MS-67 specimen was sold for $1,440. Number 4. Here is 1953 proof Washington quarter with double die obverse. Graded as PR 68 deep cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1953 proof quarter is scarce in deep cameo grades. This example also represents the FS 101 double die obverse, which shows a significant spread on the date, motto, and designer's initials. The strike is full, and the untoned surfaces yield stark white on black contrast. It was sold for $11,162.50. Number 3. 1950 Roosevelt Dime in PR68 Deep Cameo Condition. This is a marvelously preserved superb gem dime that exhibits profound contrast between frosted white devices and endlessly reflective fields on each side. Fully struck on every design element, with pristine surfaces that are thoroughly untoned. It was sold for $18,800. Number 2. Here is 1952S Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1952S Franklin half dollar claims a mintage of 5.5 million pieces, a small production total in the context of the series. Unfortunately, the issue was not especially well produced, and coins with a decent strike and full bell lines are elusive in today's market. The present coin is a dramatic exception to the rule, with well detailed design elements and full bell lines definition. This spectacular superb gem offers impeccably preserved lustrous surfaces under attractive shades of greenish gold and lavender toning. I appeal is terrific. It ended up selling for $25,850. Number 1. And this is 1909 VDB Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS67 plus red by PCGS. Cherry Pickers lists two double die obverse varieties for the 1909 VDB scent. 
FS 1101 exhibits stronger die doubling on the date in the RTY in Liberty than FS 1102. Untied and unsurpassed, this lustrous and boldly struck scent is virtually devoid of perceptible marks. Identifiers are limited to a pinpoint fleck beneath the upright of the NN1, and another minuscule fleck on Lincoln's forehead. It was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily updating coin related content. Take care.